Hello YouTube, today I'll show you how to make an energy ball in Adobe After Effects CS4. First you go to File, Import, Import File, and just import your file you have. Now you're going to drag it all the way here, and there you have it right here. First you go to Layer, 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 go to Layer, New, Solid, just call it whatever you want, I'll call it Energy Ball. Make sure you have a make comp size, make sure it's all the way to white. And then click OK. Now press OK. Now you have this white thing. First you go to rectangle. You may just have rectangle on it, so just hold it, hold it down and go to ellipse tool. Then now just draw a circle, hold shift to make it like that. And just drag it. Make sure you click the mouse. Drag it right here. Wherever you started at. You just have this thing like that. It won't move. Now just go to energy ball. Click MM, MM. Then just go like this and click the stopwatch. Then go on T, Shift P, Shift M and shift S. Now highlight these three, not the max path, there's these three right here. And now now that you have these highlighted, if you want to drag it, it's so simple. All you have to do is just move it. Just, or you can just click page down and just move the ball. This may take some time. So if you want to do it. Now just skip to the end. Okay, now for the how to make it look good. First, you go to effects, noise and grain, fractal noise. Then go to make sure this is overflow is wrap back, contrast 900, brightness minus 100. It'll look like some dark path thing. Now, first, you go to the first of your video right here click the opacity the opacity you keep that the same and you click the cycle evolution cycle in revolution 5 check the cycle evolution now it'll be 5 it moved a little so now all you have to do to make it look to make it like move just go check the stopwatch and now move your video all the way to the end or near the end and then make your thing times six so now it will move like this it'll move like this right here so now to make it look a little bit better you can go to blur and sharpen radial blur change it to zoom center make sure you put it right in the center of your ball and then the amount put it 150 150 and it'll look like something like that so now you can change the amount like this to make it fit your ball I like mine like that okay now go to effect whoops go to effect go to color correction to change the color of it U hue slash saturation now click colorize colorize who first you go to the colorize saturation 50 then change it like this to the color you want it I put mine in that color you can change the lightness of it like that or you can just change it down or you can curl the whole ball in like that or you can just change it like that so that's how mine's gonna be like so now that's all you have to do now just play it I'll just go now that you got that done if you want to save it go to composition at to render queue go to render 
Well, my things are already outputted, but you can put your output in it. And then click render. Then it'll just do the progress. Okay, now it's done. So now, so now you just exit and go onto your video. And there it is. Well, thank you for watching. Later.